Good evening. I'm Terry Yaffe, and welcome to Coach World TV. As my guest tonight, I have Kelly Campbell. Hi, Kelly. Hey, Terry, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Very, very well. Good. Kelly is the president and creative director of Liquisite Designs, which is a brand marketing company, and they specialize in website design, site optimization, and social media. And from what she's told me, she has won a number of awards. So, Kelly, tell us a little bit about Liquisite Designs. Liquisite Designs is, as you said, a brand marketing firm. Mm. Uh, we're based in Nyack, New York, and we also have a development office in Rhode Island, and that's where okay. primarily all of our programming, the, uh, the real techie stuff mm. is done. Okay. Uh, in Nyack is where the design and the headquarters are. And we have uh, between 25 and 30 employees all together between both offices. So what we do essentially is brand small businesses all the way up to national and international corporations, um, branding, custom website design, social media integration, search engine optimization, anything that is on the web or in print is what basically we do. Very exciting. It so is. You are very young, and <laughs> I know that you started your company in 2003. Yeah. What made you segue from, I assume, I don't know, working for a company to starting your own company and obviously being an entrepreneur? Yeah, um, well, yes, I did work mm -hmm. in corporate America, and uh, the long and short of it is actually that corporate America and I uh, really didn't get along. <laughs> We that were a lot of entrepreneurs. <laughs> well, we were kind of like oil and water, uh -huh. you know. And um, I just saw, you know, very shortly, um, a lot of inefficiency. Mm -hmm. um, and I really felt like, even being in corporate America for only a couple of years, I felt like I could do this. Mm -hmm. You know, I could really do this, and I could do it well, mm -hmm. and I could do it more efficiently mm -hmm. than it was being done in the company that mm -hmm. I was working mm -hmm. for. Hopefully, you know, they're not watching. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, and so I just started building the business up little by little. Mm. Uh, I was a, you know, sole proprietor yes. for a couple of years, actually a, a year only. And then I incorporated the business mm -hmm. and really just started growing. And that was uh, almost eight years ago. Great. Yeah. That is really exciting. Yeah. Being an entrepreneur myself in having two businesses, I know how exciting it is to, you know, kind of do your own thing. Yeah. So over the last almost eight years to be, right. you had must have had a vision when you started the company. And I'm wondering if that vision has been realized today. That's actually a really, really pertinent question for right now because mm. the vision that I had for Liquisite probably wasn't the same as it was when I f originally started it mm. in 2003. Um, I think I had very large, ambitious goals mm -hmm. um, and, you know, not having any business course mm -hmm. training, mm -hmm. really just training in graphic design right. and website design. You know, they don't teach you how to run a business no, or how to that, be an entrepreneur, you're right. you, you know. You kind of learn it. You grow as you go along. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's a good way to put it. So, you know, it's kind of trial and error mm -hmm. and, and figuring mm -hmm. things out along the way. And so the objectives kind of changed mm. every single year. Uh-huh. And I would say now we just uh, acquired some office space mm -hmm. in Nyack yes. and I've got this beautiful office now and we've mm. got so many people working in that location, whereas the location in Rhode Island had been, you know, where mm -hmm. most of the work was done. And now we have a senior account director, Rick Feldman. Um, we have a couple of website designers, myself, um, another creative director. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I'm starting to see the company take shape mm. and that's exciting. That's yeah, really exciting. I, I can only imagine what that feels like. Yeah. You know, I think when we start a company as an entrepreneur, we we, we might not even think eight years out. We think, right. okay, if I can only get through right. the first year right. or the first six months, great. Right. And then, okay, I did this. And then, okay, next year I might want to expand to here. Right. But, you know, then you come up to eight years and you say, wow, yeah. how did I get this far? Or how did it kind of blossom and 
grow into what it is today. Right, right. And I think, you know, the, I don't know, first or second day that I walked into the new office space and mm. it's, you know, 1,700 square feet. Wow. It was like mm. a little overwhelming. Mm. It was like, wow, I'm, I'm kind of where, where I thought I was going to be. And now I'm here. And now what do I do with that? Uh -huh. You know, so that was even a sort of an acclamation for me. Um, but I've grown nice into it. <laughs> a nice dilemma <laughs> yeah. to be in, I bet. Yeah. yeah. And uh, there's room to grow further. Mm. And uh, that's exciting in itself. So, you know, the more that we get out there and the more innovative we are as a company, um, we're doing a lot now with viral messaging, which takes into consideration um, 2D data matrix barcoding and uh, QR codes, which if anyone reads the New York Times, mm -hmm. which I'm sure all of you do, um, you know, the Macy's ads and mm -hmm. these larger ads, yes. you'll start to see these funny little barcodes. Right. And that's what we're getting into now, really? um, specifically for point of purchase. So it's really interesting. The technology is mm -hmm. unbelievable with, you know, uh, SMS messaging mm -hmm. and texting and just, you know, really creating a community around the brand. It's what we were talking about a little bit yeah. before. Yeah. Um, it's so important to engage with your audience, you know, with your prospective customers, your clients. And creating that interaction is where it's, it's all at right now. It's not just enough to have, you know, a Facebook fan page or a Twitter account. <laughs> mm -hmm. You really have to engage with the yeah. audience and that's where a lot of people see the value. Mm, very interesting. Um, I was going to ask you something. So now that you're here, a lot of people might not know a lot about you know, search engine optimization, right. <laughs> social media, um, and you know all these terms, but what, what I was what I was going to say was, it feels like, and you can tell me that you did one thing when you got started, and now because of the changing in the landscape mm -hmm. of the business world, you've kind of maneuvered yeah. into another dimension. Yeah. Um, and as as entrepreneurs, I think it's important for us to be adaptable and creative right. that, you know, if, if we're going along and we know one way and all of a sudden the industry is moving in another direction, mm -hmm. we can't keep going that way. Yeah, we have to move. Right. And um, I, I give you a lot of credit, you know, to having seen that, that, mm -hmm. okay, now I'm moving into something different. Right. Was this something you already knew or did you feel that it was something that you had to learn as you went along? It's, it, you know, just the nature of the industry. Yeah website development, anything that's online right now, mm. anything that's mobile marketing or online right. marketing, you have to bend and twist and mm. curve along with yeah. what's being, you know, uh, developed out there. Right. And, um, you know, could I have foreseen iPhone apps seven years ago? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> I not. No, I don't think, or <laughs> you know? iPads or right. any of that, right. those applications. But now that those things are uh -huh. here, you know, it's really up to us as the developers and as the online mm -hmm. marketers and the brand marketing firms to really utilize that technology so that, you know, you've got really effective, measurable results for the businesses that we serve, you know. Um, I think it's really interesting just how everything changes and, uh, and flows. And I think that, you know, something that's very interesting to me uh, in particular is the fact that as a small business or as a medium-sized business, you have that, that adaptability mm. that a corporation might not right. necessarily have. So when something new comes in, you can bend and twist right. to, exactly. to meet that. Yes. And um, that's what's really fun yeah, about that, having your own company. <laughs> exactly. That, that is the advantage. Yeah. I mean, certainly what you said, talking about a large company, it would take maybe 100 people. And boards. And right, <laughs> right. And, and approvals and everything right. to get one thing done, whereas when you're, you're you're in your own business, an entrepreneur, that you can turn on a dime. Yeah. And you can say, okay, we're going to make this change and, you know, we're going to do it now. Right. As opposed to waiting months yeah. and a year before everyone goes along with right. the idea. Right. One meeting and we were like, okay, viral messaging is it. Let's go. You know. So it, it's, it's great. I love it. Yeah. Um, actually, just to give you a little, tell the audience a little bit, Kelly yeah, and sure. I met several years ago i don't even know how many years ago it Four was or five it was that long i don't ago. know oh my i guess God. so it seems like two years but <laughs> i can take your word it was longer i know that that i actually um am the chair of a 
mentoring program for ONI, Advertising Women of New York. And uh, that particular year, Kelly was my mentee. I was. And we had a very exciting year together. And you were just really developing a lot of interesting and new things. So you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, sure. Well, I think um, in working with you, I mean, I didn't even know what executive coaching was. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. All I knew was Ani had this mentoring program. Mm -hmm. And I knew, I was smart enough to know that I didn't know everything. <laughs> so, you know, luckily they paired me with you. Mm. And um, what was interesting was it was nothing like I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, I didn't know if it was going to be something where we sit down and, you know, kind of analyze the business and, and it was more business mm -hmm. focused. What I found and, and the great value that I took from it was you helped me figure out something that I didn't think anyone could, mm. and that was how to get out of my own way. Yes, that, that's, <laughs> that's a common denominator for a lot of people that, yeah. that come to coaching. It's helping people get out of their own way. Right. Um, right, and realizing the value that you present, you know, that you are an expert in your field, mm. and it doesn't matter how old or young you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you're really good at what you do, mm -hmm. you're winning awards, you're helping businesses succeed, mm -hmm. or whatever it is mm -hmm. that you do, you are an expert in your field. Mm -hmm. And you should be paid a fair rate for that, mm -hmm. and there should be mm -hmm. value associated mm -hmm. with that. And it can't just come from you, it's other people that are, mm -hmm. are seeing that. Right. Um, and that was something that you know I think was holding me back, uh, quite frankly, and uh, definitely you know, thank you very much for all the work, all the oh, uh, breakfasts and dinners and, you know, work Lunch that we of, yeah, did. We did. Yeah. Um, so is there, in, in where you were with your company at that point, mm -hmm. how did the work together catapult you, if that's the correct word, mm. into moving forward, into shifting a, a, a dynamic Mm. for you. Um, I know you also at that point were starting a another company right. and were right. doing uh, te uh, interviews on radio right. which I think was a little scary for you at that time. It was. So there was a lot of things that were going on. Right. So I didn't really know where to place all these things. Mm -hmm. You know, I started this other company mm -hmm. and um, sold it two years later and thankfully sold it because now I realize that you know, my efforts really needed to be focused. If I'm going to mm -hmm. be really good at what I do, um, I need to focus. Mm -hmm. And instead of being pulled in two different directions mm -hmm. uh, or trying to clone myself, right. um, you know, I really needed to refocus on this. Mm -hmm. But what was interesting about the, the radio show that you're mentioning is um, I always had uh, another person doing the interviews because mm -hmm. I didn't right. think I that, that. that I was able to do it. Mm. I didn't know, you know, if I could. Mm -hmm. And it was, um, I'm confident in some areas, mm -hmm. especially professionally, mm -hmm. but it just wasn't something that um, I just ever envisioned that I could do. Mm -hmm. And so I jumped into it uh, after the other host left and I did one show and it was like, wow, I kind of like this, yeah. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to be coming up on our 100th episode. Wow. Um, very in, uh, cool. In a couple of weeks. Mm. And I love it. I really mm. love it. And I'm very comfortable with it now. Mm. So uh, that's been a great experience. And I actually was interviewed by Kelly on her, on her radio show. And it was very very different than being in front of a camera. <laughs> you know, you pick up a phone, you do right. it on. So right. you can be in your pajamas. <laughs> you can be in your pajamas, here you can be. <laughs>